Okay, um, bear with me, this is my first video review. I thought that it would be easier to share a, a watch like this because of some of the peculiarities. Now this is uh, what I can only describe as a, a post bottle of wine, late night, eBay, impulse buy. But um, it's arrived today and I'm really excited because it's uh, really unusual and I really, really love it. Um, it's uh, what I can only describe as a, a World Cup commemorative watch from the year 1990 um, where the World Cup was hosted in Italy uh, where West Germany beat the defending champions Argentina 1-0 um, the watch is quite unusual um, it's a uh, well it's a chronograph but there's no sub dials which makes it quite interesting uh, you'll notice that the face has got the uh, Italian 90 commemorative um, logo and um, the football shaped dial at the bottom which is controlled by the crown is how you operate the uh, the five separate functions which are time which is uh, the current mode uh, timer which is uh, uh, obviously a, some kind of a timer for timing the game RETM no idea what that is yet I didn't have a manual or this did come in its box and it is like new there was no manual so I'll need to find one of those or I'll seek one out on the internet um, TM chrono uh, a circle with two arrows pointing at it and then the chrono function now we're currently in time mode and I'll show you some of these functions in a second when we look around the watch now the uh, the bezel is um, is like a black charcoal affair um, I can't really tell if it's made out of any kind of plastic it feels cold so it maybe is aluminium and then anodized you can see that the uh, the chrono um, the, sorry, the bezel has uh, got the increments for a football map, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 45 minutes, and then we have the half time period between the two red triangles, and then we go into the second half. Now this watch is uh, quite deceptive, it's actually um, excluding the crown, it's 13, 39 millimeters across the case, and then 44 with the crown. If I just show you against my 6309, um, you can see the it looks actually smaller because uh, it doesn't have the bezel but um, it is actually uh, those sizes that I just mentioned okay so um, it comes on a really nice leather strap which is uh, the original strap and um, the interesting thing uh, about the crown incidentally is that it's got this kind of milled football shape um, kind of affair um, Turning the, the watch over, you can see on the strap we've got the uh, Ital watch, SPA, and then we have the Seiko official timer, and a really nice kind of cute um, aluminium or, or stainless steel, I'm not sure, it, it feels kind of light, um, clasp. At the back of the watch, um, again, is uh, continuing with the football theme, we have this football segmented um, case back. Um, now it does say on the case back um, that it is a stainless steel aluminium bezel so um, you know it's stainless steel and the bezel is aluminium as it states here but it feels aluminium across the board I mean uh, it doesn't feel as quite as cold as stainless steel um, we can see we've still got the original uh, Seiko uh, sticker on the back uh, also on the back we have um, Japan C and AO and then the uh, the model number which is stated as 3M32-301B and then a serial number of 982794 now I've um, been looking at Canop's um, spreadsheet and I'm assuming that's 1989 and was produced a year before the World Cup um, in, uh, in 1990 okay so on to the, uh, the functionality of this thing which is uh, really quite peculiar and uh, one of the things that I like so much about it uh, we're currently in in timer mode um, so if I want to um, move this into chrono mode then the uh, the hands will reset themselves to the chrono position and then we have the starting and stopping of the chrono this little beep on the top pusher and we have the, uh, the stop and then we have the reset button underneath um, and then if we um, we go back to the um, the time mode I turn the crown we can see that the watch goes back to time um, what is pretty cool is if we go back to the um, the chrono mode and we start the chrono running and then while the chrono is actually running we go back to the 
time mode and we then go back to the time and we'll leave the chrono running and then if we go back to the chrono the chrono actually picks up where it left off uh, before we reset the time. Obviously on this watch you can't have the chrono running and also um, tell the time. Now the other function that there is, let me just stop this, uh, this chrono and reset that. Um, the other function is called timer. Um, so that one was chrono. We just go back to time and then timer. Similar to chrono, um, except when you start the watch um, it goes backwards, which is a really kind of cool feature, um, something I've never seen before, and uh, same kind of principle again. Um, the other functions that are on there, um, RETM, um, thought it might have been reverse timer, but it doesn't seem to be, um, and uh, TM chrono, and then the circle are all yet to be in investigated. So all in all, um, this is a this is the box incidentally that it came in, which I'm not sure if it's original. Um, Seiko Sports on the top and it's got a, a screw lid affair. So um, that's my first video review on something which is quirky and I thought you'd like to see um, some of these strange features. Um, I've never seen one of these things before. Uh, I really don't know anything about it. As I say it was a, uh, it was a Chardonnay buy but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless.